Oakville Blades taking on the Pickering Panthers for the second time in a week and a half. Uh, Panthers won the first one at 3-2. to two. Not a very inspiring win. This one very much different. Great pass from Aaron Jessley to set up Ryan Johnstone. That was a big time play off and running at one nothing on a power play now pickering will make it count lucas littlejohn from the point ethan lindsay tips the puck home to double the lead all part of a dominant opening at 20 minutes for the home side early second period nick athanasakos has a sure goal taken away by the glove of gavin mccarthy little john on the attack again has a shot blocked the follow-up almost an own goal as he looked to set up jessley Panthers in charge at this point, and that includes in the physical department as well, as Hunter Savicki crashes Luke Modry. Johnstone raises the arm, sir, thinks he's got a goal, and maybe he did, but the play continues long enough for Alex Papasporopoulos to remove any doubt of another Pickering goal. Papasporopoulos adds a second goal to make it 4 0, but Oakville gets one back before the end of the period. Marco Costanti sneaks a shot past Andrew Ballantyne to make things more interesting in the final 20 minutes uh, maybe a bit too interesting four to two now before jesley swoops in great rush lindsay calls for the puck and he shall receive his second of the afternoon and the power play goal making a three goal lead uh, once again pickering will need every goal they get just after lindsay popped his second so too does jacob crisp here as he goes up and over the shoulder of Andrew Ballantyne. Panthers have a reply in this high scoring game. Liam Walsh, a seeing eye pass for Ethan Toms. Nice touch to bury that pass in a flash. Not long after, Toms was hit from behind. Kale Cavlin, he's not going to allow that to stand. He goes toe to toe with Jack Churchill. Both players landing solid shots. And the takedown here, and Papasporopoulos gets involved once again. He's going to go out with Matthew Wang, and he would also get the gate, but uh, points at the scoreboard on the way out of this one. By the time this was all said and done, the Panthers take it by a score of 6-4 to four on the heels of a less-than-stellar game against Brantford that saw the 99ers hold Pickering to a tie, and according to D-Man Hunters Vicky, that really helped energize the Panthers for this game. In all honesty, I think it was yesterday's practice. We came out yesterday during practice. Everything was smooth. Everything was high intensity, um, especially coming after our last game, our last home game, tying Brantford. I think we wanted to kind of send a message saying that that wasn't our best game and we're here to play and get ready in the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, after a game like that, nobody's happy. Um, it wasn't a screaming match. It wasn't anything. It was just we know we're better than that. We know who we, what we can do, and we just didn't play our game. It wasn't anything dire we just we came we just came out like we were going to win and we didn't end up winning and it's you can't be letting in four goals because then you got to score five right and as much as we're a team that can do that you don't want to be giving up four plus goals every single night because it is hard to play and especially if you're chasing and you're down so but yeah